Shall we have bought too much? We're going to be eating pizza for the whole of January. Don't be daft. We're going to be the hottest spot in town. I think it's a great idea. Me and Mary are looking forward to it. See, can you stop worrying now? It is going to be perfect, all right? It's your big idea. Just enjoy it. I don't care what Charity says. I'm going to the cafe tonight and you're coming with me. Not as if she can sack you again, is it? No, I just get to play third wheel to you and Alice. Only because you blew your date last night, but there will be other girls. Uh, do you have any idea how hard it is for me to find someone that just accepts me as I am? Well, yeah, if you shut yourself away being miserable. So, the cafe it is. No, it's not an option. So, be at mine looking handsome, right? OK, OK, you win. I'll be there. Uh, if you're not working, Charity wants everyone at Ryan's birthday. Uh, except I might not be welcome. She sort of sacked me. Wow. That's some serious aroma you got going there. Who are you trying to impress? Victoria, by any chance? You're into that much, you sack an hotel. You have no idea what I like to do. <laughs> Listen, if you want to go clubbing here, let me stop you. Oh, don't you think that might be a bit too much too soon? You know, last thing you need is any trouble. Don't panic, I'm not going anywhere except to be able to film in a few beers. OK, well, you could always join me and Marlon down at the pub. Great. How about with Ellis, then, at the cafe? Get to know some of the other young people around here. I can't wait. Hey, everyone, here's my brother. Just got out of prison for, what was it, GBH? I just thought it might be nice for you two to spend a bit of time together. No, Mum, you might be right. <laughs> cafe sounds like a laugh. <laughs> Blimey. That doesn't make the poor lad cringe with embarrassment. I don't know what will. Remind me how old he is again, 11, 12? Wouldn't go saying that for a charity if I were you. She wants it to be perfect. She's practically breathing down my neck as I iced it. Well, can you blame her? It's the first proper birthday she's had with Ryan. No, oh, stop polishing your halo. I'm just saying it's a bit late for her to start going all tiger mum now, isn't it? Hey, if you're that full of that air, try blowing some of these up. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Bob, we're a man down, OK? You need to up your game. See what done, I will be a barn ninja. Just keep the drinks flowing yet, especially Ryan's. And if I see his glass empty, I want to know why. You're rely on me, boss. Well, let's start by um, putting more fizz on ice, because I'm not having Irene accusing me of being a cheapskate. <laughs> Don't you worry. By the end of the night, we'll have a drink out the wally with the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop stressing, just go with the flow. I'm sure Ryan will love it. Do you reckon? Of course he will. It looks amazing. OK, I just, I just want today to be special. And it will be. We'll make sure of that, OK? <laughs> oh. What? No! No, you listen. Look, I know this is Dawn's phone, so stop messing me about and let me speak to her. Because I want to know she's OK, that's why. What do you mean she won't be? Is that some kind of threat? You... Whoever well, that one sounds like a white douche. I keep trying that number that you gave me for Dawn. Just keep getting this... Guy saying she's working and making threats if I don't stop calling. What? You think she's gone back to her old life? I just want to find her, let her know she's got choices, that it doesn't have to be like this. Right, well, let's do this. Do what, exactly? Yeah. I'll call Dawn, right? It's that bloke on this, and it's a pimp. I'll tell him I'm a punter and then go get an address. <sighs> And then you can go and get her. Except I've had a few drinks with Pearl and now I can't drive. Well, then, looks like I'm giving you a lift then, doesn't it? Oh, you've pulled out all the stops. Mm -hmm. Well, it was either this or spend another night in with Dad. Oh, no, what's he done now? Oh, nothing, just being Dad. Let's not talk about him anyway. Why don't you come join if you want? We'll show these kids how it's done. Ooh, I think I've had enough parties for one week. <laughs> oh, good you're here. Just dropped Leanna off at a party. It was hoping you might still want to spend New Year with me. Right, well, I will be in the cafe getting mortal if you fancy joining. She makes it sound so appealing. Come on, you can do it if you like. I want to hang out with all those teenagers. I think I'm a bit old for all of that, don't you? No, I don't. You are fun, vivacious, full of life and have dubious taste in party entertainment. Yeah, well, I saw your face when you realised how old I am. It wasn't you. It was the half-naked bloke. Caught me by surprise. I've always known your age. 
I may have looked at your medical records once or twice. Purely professional, of course. Shame. I like the idea of you being secretly obsessed with me. Oh, trust me. There's nothing secret about it. I felt you just as you are. Nothing could put me off. This is going on social media right now. We're the most happening place to be tonight. Yes, well, we better be, because we've spent too much on this to fail. <laughs> Come on, man. Are you going to win or what? Please, let me lift up out here. Yeah, all right, Kerry, good things come and all that. Right, go on, do you want to do the honours? Right, OK. Ah, here we go. You ready, yeah? Give me that. Thank you. Oh, yes, DJ, crack up the tunes! So, uh, I did have a speech prepared in that, but what the heck? Have fun. Right, pizza will be out later. Help yourself to Prosecco. Well, I hope there's going to be some hot guys turning up. You can't kiss around on New Year's Eve, and when can you? <laughs> <laughs> OK, take your back. This has got potential. You've changed your tune, haven't you? Oh, no prizes for guessing why. One of them is death, though, giving you the eye. You think so? Oh, we stop acting all coy and hand over the cash. I take it you're staying now. Right. This looks like the place. What are you doing? You can't just walk up to the door and ask for her. Why not? And why are we whispering? <gasps> because it isn't a game. They might not even believe you're a punter for a start. Why? Because they're awkward. I'm just making the point. The people she's with are dangerous. You've helped me enough already. And if anything happened, charity would kill me. OK, so what's the plan? Sit here and help me see dawn? Cos I could take all night. You stay here. And if I'm not out in ten minutes, call the police. Ryan, it's me, again. Just wondering what time you might be arriving. There's no rush, just, um, you call me. OK, bye. How was that? Didn't sound too much like a nagging. Mother, did it? No, now stop worrying, I'll be here. Oh, I need a drink. Come on, Bob, don't just stand there, get me wine, get me wine. So with all the birthday banners. Someone leave it a bit too late, the cash and carry, did they? You must know. I'm holding a party here for Ryan, my son. Is that OK with you? We're a little fraught, that's all. Bad timing. Oh, maybe we should go back to mine instead and have a romantic night in. Well, sounds good to me. The way I get you all to myself. Mm. I wish Ryan had hurry up. Charity's getting more wound up by the minute. Family parties always so tense, or is it just when I'm around? <laughs> She's worried, that's all. She'll be fine once the birthday boy's here. He's a grown man. He doesn't want jelly and ice cream and a flipping guitar cake. Well, we could only go to the cafe, see if Tracy's hijacked by him. Oh, yeah, uh, Matty's here. I'll take some. Oh, about time! Where have you been? Oh, probably having some private little birthday celebration all of your own. Don't worry about the trouble I've gone to. No! No, I came in a taxi. Well, Ryan left ages ago. He should be here by now. Oh, it's up to you. I can stay here all night putting your punters off. Or you can let me see Dawn. She's working. Fine. I'll call the police. Let them know exactly what's going on. Uh. Dawn! That's it. Dawn! Dawn, it's me. Dawn, can you hear me? Dawn! Most of them looking like they've just left school. <laughs> You'll be fine after a couple of drinks. Get Kerry having the time of a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not making me feel much better. <laughs> Do you know, I'm not sure whether to kick her out or get her a bleeding podium. She has had to party, I'll give her that. So, where are all the hot men that you promised? Oh, well, like your dreams have just come true. I know I'm going to be stood next to you come midnight. Well, you might have to join the queue. Looks like someone did take the hint. 
did that or he's trying to wind me up. Well, don't let him. And Matty's ditched us now, so it's just you and me. So, why here and not out? Not, not that I'm complaining. Oh, I know the DJ. Bit of a fan as it happens. Yeah, yeah, he, he seems pretty good. As long as you're not a secret stalker and uh, I'm your cover. Yeah, but I'd be weird. It's my cousin. Well, I'm glad he is. Or you wouldn't be here with me. Oh, brilliant. That's all we need. Oh, he's not an ex, is he? No, trust me, it's way worse. He's Matty's first, you know, from from before. Ah, first as in... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the state she's in. What the hell have you done to her? You think I want her like this? She owes me big time. And if she dies, what then? Are you really that stupid? On second thoughts, don't answer that. I'm taking her home. <laughs> ah! If you want to take her, then you're going to have to pay. <laughs> of a low life. <coughs> and the rest? <coughs> Don't forget that. Once in a lifetime deal. Take it or do one. It's up to you. Pizza's ready, people! Help yourself! Oh, yeah! Top tunes, top notch, bring it on. <laughs> so, a New Year's kiss coming up then? Mm, I don't know. From what I hear, he's been inside. Mm, well, look on the bright side, at least he's not a serial killer. So, how are you finding the village? Not too boring, I hope. Trust me, boring is a good thing. <laughs> you okay? What? You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Um, sorry, can, can I get your top up? Uh, yeah, that'd be lovely, thank you. I hope I might bump into you. I haven't seen you since school. What are you up to now? Oh, you know, same old, same old, nothing really changes. I don't know. I don't remember you being so attractive for a start. Well, you do know she's with me, right? Oh, Ellis, Isaac's just messing around. Yeah, Ellis, lighten up. I don't mind sharing if you don't. What's your problem? <laughs> My problem? I'm not the one punching up a few belts, am I? <laughs> but if you really want to make a scene... Uh, what, what's going on? Is, is everything OK? Oh, no. He's got back up. Run, lads. <laughs> this one looks proper hard. Oh, Isaac. Do I know you? No, I don't think so. I, I'm, I'm new here. I definitely know you from school. I've seen your face before. Well, you heard what he said, so why don't we just forget that all this happened, yeah? Here we go, ladies. Enjoy. We will, if Irene can tear herself away from her mobile. No, I'm, I'm just texting Ryan. Well, make sure he's OK, you know. I hope he turns up soon. I'm Aunt Marvin. Didn't have any tea tonight, especially. Well, let's not worry about that now. We can wait a bit longer. Yeah, what's a few curl crusts between friends, eh? Yeah, why don't you all just stock up? What do I care, as if you're bothered? Come on, let's just try and stay calm, yeah? Oi, it's not anyone else's fault that Ryan isn't here, is it? Maybe you didn't treat him like he's a massive kid. Oh, 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 oh panic over. Ryan's just texted Irene. Um, he's with a friend, apparently. Says he's running late. There, see? Simple explanation. And where are my texts? He's texting Flaming Irene. What about me? Does it matter? Of course it matters! Do you know how many birthdays I've actually missed thinking he was dead? Tonight was supposed to be special. Mum, it will be special. Yeah, banging. Do you know what? I don't even know why I bothered. Like, any of you lot are going to understand this. We do. Too little too late. You may as well all just go. What? Hi. Go on, just stuff your pockets with free grub and go. <laughs> What did you do to yourself? It's revolting. What's wrong with you? Nothing is wrong with him. So do yourself a favour, don't even go there. Or what? You think you've got what it takes, do you? You keep talking like that, you might find out. I'm not scared of you. But then you are stupid than you look, cos Matty's got a lot of friends around here. Yes, go and be an idiot somewhere else and leave us alone. I wouldn't touch you with a barge ball anyway. You make me sick. You okay? 
Yeah, my whole past just literally blew up in my face. That's exactly the reason why I didn't want to come back here. It doesn't matter what he thinks. He's just some thug with a few drinks inside him. Yeah, and he's gone now, OK? So please, don't let it spoil the rest of your night. You should be OK. She will be if I've got anything to do with it. Oh, I should never have let her go. I know you're a vicar and all that, but what are you doing this for? Oh, I could ask you the same thing. Didn't have to miss your birthday. You don't need a few drinks. With your mum. It might not seem it, but it means a lot. Are you OK? Yeah, just a bit shaken after what happened to her. <laughs> that pimp never stood a chance. You know, I couldn't have done this without you. Uh, what makes you for? Anyway, I really like Dawn. Well, let's hope we can convince her to stay here where people care about her. Now, isn't there somewhere you should be? <laughs> well, it's actually your birthday. Look, I'll get Dawn inside. You go see your mum. All right. Wish me luck. Too sure, but I think she may have her Prosecco goggles on. Yeah? And how about you? Me? Well, I'm just chatting to the new face in the village. I've heard a lot about you. All of it bad, no doubt. Well, you do look like you've been in the wars. Or are you just misunderstood? You got broken into over Christmas. Did they take much? Uh, no, nothing. Oh, good. I'm glad. Uh, have you seen Priya's lined up for a New Year's Eve snog? Jamming cow. Not long till the countdown. Is so anyone going to make any New Year's resolutions? Yeah, like giving up on ever finding a girlfriend. Look, I think I'm going to get off. I'm not sure I'm in the mood anymore. Why don't you just try talking to her? Yeah, I think I've been caught a freak enough times one night, don't you? I'm sorry, I don't mean to bring it down on things. You? Never. But you know, you always can talk to me. I'll see you next year. Yeah. <laughs> see you later. Right, guys, it's your three minute warning. Yeah. 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 Are you still here? Yeah, boss, yeah, I was just, uh... Just go, Bob. You know, I can do this. You sure? Don't mind. Oh, you go and enjoy yourself. Don't forget to give those kids of yours a big hug. <sighs> right. I'll be off, then. Happy New Year. Yeah. Hey, where is everyone? It looks like you were having a party. We were, until the guests someone bailed on me. Why didn't you tell me? If I'd have known... Oh, you'd have done what? Actually replied to any of my texts, or even given a damn what I think, for that matter. I was helping a friend, OK? Yeah, and you're a grown man, you can do what you want, so everyone keeps telling me. Then it's easy for them to say that, isn't it? Because they haven't spent every new year painting on a smile, pretending everything's fine when it's not. And how could it be when all I could think about was you? I'm sorry. For what? Not being dead? I'm not saying it's your fault. It's just I have spent so many years with this U-shaped hole in my life. I just thought things might be different this time. I didn't really feel like that. How could I not? You're my son. And you know, this was actually my first chance to spend your birthday with you. Well, it's not over yet. There's still time, isn't there?
It isn't the lady, boy. I said, I don't want any trouble. Why? Because you've not got your mates here to protect you. Some man you are. But then you're not, are you? Hannah. My name's Matty. OK. So why don't you show us what you've got under those clothes? What? Show you anything, mate. Yeah? We'll see about that. No! What are you doing? No! Tell me that this He's isn't happening. <laughs> Isaac, stop! <laughs> Do you hear me? No! no. What are you doing? No, please, no! Just as I thought! Oi! Oi! Do you wish I'd done that? You never did. No! Leave it! That's it. Tomorrow, New Year's Day, we have an hour-long visit to Emmerdale at 7. Next to Coronation Street, where Carla and Peter address their history and look into the future. Later, we've seen Casino Royale, The Quantum of Solace, Skyfall, and now Daniel Craig, Inspector, at 8.